Well, we are on the road now to the Recuacuata, which is a thermal waters up here in the mountains. So we're gonna go check that out and bathe in the hot springs out here. I know in the valley. So we'll check. We that out. are on a very bumpy road, and for the next three miles, we're gonna be going down this rocky road down to the hot springs. So it's just a one-way rocky road. These are water pumps over there. Hopefully they come out. Coming down the canyon, this is where a lot of the town of Krill gets their water from. It's from these hot springs. We are about halfway down that bumpy road. We had to stop to let the brakes cool down. That's the way it goes. We still gotta go all the way to the bottom. It's a very long road. Normally, I would advocate doing things yourself, but the road down to Rikawata is very dangerous. As you can see here, there are sheer drop-offs and you will see cars that have not made it. here to Rikokwata to the hot springs. Um, Rikokwata means to swim, Adanar, which means to swim. So that's what we're going to go do. So we're going to check out this area and go swimming. See what we can find. It's all hot water springs. What you're in is the best. Over here to the right is the hottest one because that's where the water is coming out of. And then from here is the best one. And you can look up and see the creek and the mountains and everything. So that's pretty cool. Okay, as you can see, I am here in the hot springs. And the view is nice. The water is warm, but I wouldn't say it's hot. It's, it's warmer than the air. So it's nice and warm, but it's not hot. So I'd call them warm springs. And you can see over here, the views are just incredible. You can see the springs, and they have over there that little hut is so that you can change. There's also a little area over there that you can use for food if you bring some down. They don't sell anything down here. Um, the tour, they charge us 1,700 pesos for two people. So that's about $80 for $40 per person. But then we had to pay another 40 peso. I almost went over an edge part. We had to pay another 40 pesos that went directly towards the city. Well, the little, I don't know, city, but the area here, the town. So it was 40 pesos per person that we had to pay for like a ticket that was directly for the town. And so that's what we did. So we paid that. So beautiful scenery here. Just can't get enough of all that beautiful scenery. Checking out the hoodoos up there. I don't know how they call a hoodoo up in Spanish, but it reminds me a lot of the north, southwest in New Mexico. They have a lot of hoodoos. And um, then you have like big cliff formations like this over there. Very interesting. And the lower one. And when you stand outside from those nice warm waters, it's cold, so. I want to get back inside where it's nice and warm. Let's see if I can get in here safely. It's an AJ fountain. Just have to raise your arms up. You'd be like an angel. You got water wings. We just got done with the hot springs and that was what AJ wanted to do. So he got his wish. Hope you enjoyed this little video of the, of the springs and we are gonna take that crazy back up. And I guess you'll see if we made it if we post this video. See you on the next one.
One interesting fact about the Copper Canyons in Chihuahua are that they are four times wider than the Grand Canyon and they are about a half a mile deeper. But we made it as you can tell because we posted this video. So thank you for watching and we will see you on the next one.